from. And uh, in a few minutes, uh, I'm going to go into the word I have for you today. Today, I want to talk about uh, 15 traits of the Jezebel spirit. This is going to be good. Uh, of course, honestly, I think every generation, there's a whole wave of teaching when it comes to the Jezebel spirit. Okay, uh, As I've come to observe and realize uh, the charismatic Pentecostal movement, there's different waves of deliverance and waves of revelation and teaching on the Jezebel spirit. Because every generation, in a sense, uh, Jezebel tries to manifest and show herself, uh, in a sense, in different forms. But it's the same, of course, the same entity. But every generation, Jezebel tries to show up strong and tries to show up in different forms. But this Pastor Ben here, I, I want to welcome you. I want to invite you. Give some hearts, likes, and share. Praise God. Let me give some shout outs here. Hello, Shivani. Hello, the light sweet. Hello, Deborah. Yeah, we got it. Tim, blessings. Natalia, blessings. Hallelujah. Zabatabo Sokor Rabanda. Palm Coast. Love the jacket. Thank you. I do too. New Jersey in the house. Praise God. I hope uh, to go to Pennsylvania, New Jersey, New York soon. Well, from Eva Beach. Ronald, blessings. Love you guys. Stephanie, blessings to you. Happy New Year, Trisha. Point Loma. I was just there at Point Loma uh, just last week. Hello there, Shaquetta. Blessings, Luis from Alberta, Canada, Kennewick, Washington. Amen. Praise God. So do give us some hearts, likes, and share. And uh, let me talk to you today about 15 traits of the Jezebel spirit. And honestly, of course, they're, they're, you can extract and bring out so much more. But I've realized that... Um, you know, as I've studied uh, on the topic of Jezebel, the entity of Jezebel, I've realized that, uh, you know, I mean, you could, in a sense, sum it up in these 15 uh, quality traits, okay? And uh, I remember one of my friends, I think it was David Herzog, uh, he was in a meeting and said, oh, if anybody's a Jezebel, raise your hand. And there was about three people in the meeting that raised their hand. Uh, so, you know, at least they can recognize if they're moving in that wicked spirit or not. But, uh, you know, the reason why I want to talk to you about the Jezebel spirit today is because we need to be informed because there is an attack against prophets. There is an attack against the spirit of Elijah. But we know, according to the Bible, that the spirit of Elijah will rule, reign, and triumph. Amen. Uh, so, again, the spirit of Elijah is going head-to-head, -head, toe toe-to-toe with the spirit of Jezebel. And uh, we're living in days right now in this month of January, this January of justice. In 2021, I believe we're going to see Jezebel thrown down. Come on, somebody. Remember, Jesus himself said in the Gospels, I saw Satan fall like lightning. Are you ready for every high, wicked, evil thing to fall down from its lofty places, right? So, you know, because this is a, a January of justice, because I believe we will see justice, we will see the Jehu's rise, and we will see the Elijah spirit be released and overcome. I want to talk to you about the, the characteristics, the traits of Jezebel. All right? So uh, first and foremost, let's go over to the Word of God. And I thank you for logging in, for joining in, and for, you know, for coming on. Amen? And uh, so let's go to the Word of God first and foremost. 1 Kings 19. I love this. 1 Kings 19, okay, um, uh, verse 1. And Ahab told Jezebel all that Elijah had done. And, uh, and, and withal how he had slain all the prophets with the sword. Then Jezebel sent a messenger unto Elijah, saying, So let the gods do to me, and more also. If I do not make your life as a life, as one of them by this time tomorrow. Okay. So the Jezebel spirit uh, spews out threats. Okay. The Jezebel spirit uh, is a threatening spirit, is a bullying spirit. So number one, the first trait of the Jezebel spirit is that it is a bully. Okay. It screams out threats. Remember the Bible says that the enemy, the devil, roars like a lion. All right, the enemy is not a lion, but he's roaring, trying to act like a lion, like a mighty tough lion. And, uh, you know, it's so funny because whenever I do evangelism, some of the most tough-looking people are some of the most soft people on the inside. They just melt. Their hearts melt like wax. 
because they're softies, but they're putting up a front. So the Jezebel spirit, uh, number one, is a big bully, okay? And it, isn't it funny, like the left today, you know, tries to bully conservatives. You know, you, you better call me uh, transgender. You better call me asexual. You, you know, today I'm a man, but now tomorrow I identify as a female. So the left bullies people. That's a Jezebel spirit trying to threaten you, trying to corner you into a corner, bully you, tear you apart into pieces. The Jezebel spirit has no compassion. Okay. The Jezebel spirit is number two, a spirit of murder. Okay. Um, Remember, as we see uh, in the story uh, of Kings, we see that Jezebel uh, murdered the prophets. Jezebel uh, murdered innocent people. So the Jezebel spirit is a spirit of death and murder. Okay, Whenever the Jezebel spirit is around, there's dead churches. There's dead prophets. There's dead dreams. There's dead visions. Whenever a Jezebel spirit is around, there's death. Okay, There's murder and the spirit of Jezebel will do all that it can, okay? And remember, the spirit of Jezebel can manifest through both male and female. It can manifest through men and women, okay? Honestly, I've probably seen, Adrian, I've probably seen the Jezebel spirit manifest the most from men, not just, not even women. Isn't that interesting? So uh, the Jezebel spirit a spirit of death and a spirit of murder. Whenever a Jezebel spirit's around, you feel like they're choking. You feel like they're dying. There's a spirit of death. There's dead churches. Come on, somebody. The Jezebel spirit threatens the prophets, bullies the prophets, and chases them out. And as the Jezebel spirit chases the, the prophets out, the true spirit of Elijah. Remember, Elijah was afraid to death and he wanted to commit suicide. Right? Because the threats, the vehemous lies of Jezebel. So Elijah cornered himself into the cave again and wanted to take his own life, you know. And, and that's the Jezebel spirit. And then there's a spirit of death. Whenever Jezebel spirit's around, there's dead churches, dead ministries, dead finances, dead dreams. There's no freedom, okay? It's a spirit of control, okay? Number three, <clears throat> the third trait of the Jezebel spirit is a spirit of control. Come on, somebody. All right, Jezebel, or as Stephanie Herzog likes to call it, little Jezzy. Jezzy always throws a tantrum if Jezzy doesn't have its way. Okay. Jezebel loves to control, is a micromanager, loves to be in every little crack, nook, crevice, every little area, and loves to control, you know, snaps at you, degrades you, demoralizes you pushes you down. So the Jezebel spirit, as we know, took control of Ahab, okay? And as Jezebel took control of Ahab, she took control of the whole kingdom of Israel, okay? Back off, bam, in the name of Jesus, I feel the Holy Ghost. So the Jezebel spirit is a control freak, is a control mania, all right? So if somebody's being influenced by the Jezebel spirit, they may not be a Jezebel, but they may be influenced by the Jezebel spirit, okay? Big difference, okay? You may not be a Jezebel, and, and I know some people, they might say, Pastor Ben, we shouldn't be demonizing people. Uh, you know, every person is a human being, is a child of God. We shouldn't call them Jezebel. You know, we shouldn't call them demon-possessed. You know, they're a child of God. And, you know, I understand what they're saying, but honestly, there's times where human beings have actually become Nephilim. And they actually embody demons and they embody Jezebel or they embody a principality. They're not even themselves. They lost their souls. And so, uh, you know, there's times, once again, where uh, the Jezebel spirit will try to control you. Be, you know, there's a Jezebel and then the Jezebel spirit will try to control you, your finances, your freedom. You can't say this. You can't do that. You can't go there. Uh, you can't sing in church. You can't open up your business. That's a Jezebel spirit. Okay, so the third trait <clears throat> of the Jezebel or characteristic of the, a Jezebel spirit is control, all right? Number four, the fourth characteristic trait of a Jezebel spirit is seduction, sensuality, okay? The Jezebel spirit is very seductive. Uh, and not just seductive with sexuality, although that's a big part of it. Because remember, 
the Bible says that Jezebel put on makeup, okay? And I'm not saying if you put on makeup, you're a Jezebel. No, I'm not saying that at all. But the Jezebel spirit put on makeup and adorned herself to look a certain seductive, sensual, lustful way. So the Jezebel spirit is very seductive. Remember, uh, you know, even the devil, uh, you know, in the garden, we know that the snake, you know, was very seductive with his words. Okay, so Jezebel is very seductive, very sensual, okay, very sexual, you know. And I mean, even right now in culture, in Hollywood, L.A., all around the world, we're seeing a Jezebel spirit with, uh, you know, sexuality, uh, you know, being so demoralized and being so distorted, you know, sexual identities, gender confusion. You know, this is all part of the Jezebel spirit and the Jezebel agenda. Okay, so um, seduction, sensuality, okay, uh, luring you in with lust, luring you in with sexuality, all right? Uh, even with choice words, you know, things that uh, it says, you know, uh, trying to woo you in. Uh, number four, number five, the fifth trait of the Jezebel spirit is manipulation. Jezebel loves to deceive, lie, manipulate, okay? We see that the Jezebel spirit will always try to turn things around you and against you. The Jezebel spirit is a great deceiver, is the god of deception, is a great man manipulator, okay? Loves to distort the truth, loves to, uh, you know, spew lies and uh, use the truth against you. So a Jezebel spirit will do all that it can to make you look bad, to make you look evil, and to manipulate your communication with people, your connection with people. Whenever you're around a Jezebel uh, or around a Jezebel spirit, it's always like it's hard to understand. It's like there's confusion. It's like it's hard to have a real connection. That's the Jezebel spirit bringing manipulation. You follow me here today. I break that off of you. The sixth character. Am I at number six? I am. The sixth characteristic <clears throat> of the Jezebel spirit is uh, it is very aggressive. Okay. And that ties in with, in a sense, being a bully. But the Jezebel spirit is aggressive, filled with hatred and ambition, and doesn't stop, uh, you know, like, uh, like Baal, because Jezebel serves Baal, is the false prophetess of Baal, the false deity, the false god. And of course, Baal is, in a sense, a bull or a water buffalo, okay, is a bull. That's why when Israelites left Egypt, they created a bull, okay, they turned all the gold into a golden calf, bull, because that stood for Baal. So Jezebel is like Baal, Jezebel, Baal, is like Baal, <clears throat> um, just so heated hot with fiery zeal and false passion, and is very aggressive. It, it will not stop, honestly. It will not stop until it destroys, kills, steals, destroys. So the Jezebel spirit is very aggressive. You know, I'm sure even last year in 2020, we've seen some very aggressive spirits, uh, you know, uh, you know, bow down, uh, you know, ch chant this, say this, do this. Otherwise, we're going to hate you. We're going to, you know, riot. We're going to protest. You know, these are very aggressive spirits, you know, very aggressive. And of course, it can be very similar to Leviathan. It can be very similar to different type of spiritual entities and influences. But the Jezebel spirit is very aggressive and will not stop until it fulfills its agenda. Very aggressive, right? <clears throat> the next one, what am I, number six, seven. The next one, yes, number seven, yes, or eight. Number eight, thank you. I'm kind of going around here. The next one is betrayal, okay? Uh, the Jezebel spirit will betray you, will backstab you, will use you, abuse you, take advantage of you. The Jezebel spirit uh, is all about betrayal. Remember, Jezebel turned Ahab against his own country. Jezebel turned Ahab against uh, his own God, 
against his own monotheistic uh, Judeo faith. So Jezebel is all about betrayal and will cause people to turn against you. Okay, One day you're really close with certain people, your buddy, buddy, your best friends, you know, your family. Come on. But when a Jezebel spirit comes, begins to betray, backstab, people start turning against you. It's, it's evil. It's yucky. Number nine, the Jezebel spirit uh, is a spirit of idolatry, okay? Idolatry. Uh, of course, Jezebel uh, idolizes and worships the false god Baal. So whenever a Jezebel spirit's around, it causes your focus to be idolized elsewhere from Jesus. It, it's so interesting. I remember when I, I was attacked uh, by a Jezebel spirit years ago, all I couldn't, I, I literally, even now, I'm just like, whoa, Jesus. I, I literally couldn't even think about anything else. I was just tormented with fear. And I was tormented with anxiety and with anger. And just, you know, and that's a Jezebel spirit, okay? It causes you to idolize certain things in your heart away from Jesus. And that's a Jezebel spirit, okay? It's, it's a spirit of idolatry. It lifts up certain people. Uh, it, it uh, and the next one is the spirit of Jezebel is a spirit of accusation. Okay, accuses you, points fingers at you, attacks you day and night, night and day. Doesn't stop. The spirit of Jezebel accuses and and just behemothly just tries to tear you down with its vehemous, venomous tongue. And accuses uh, and tries to defame you, character defamation. We've seen that with President Trump. We've seen that with so many conservatives. Character defamation, uh, character assassination. That's all uh, characteristics of the Jezebel spirit. Accuses day and night, does not stop. But we shut the mouth of lions, amen? And we shut the mouths of snakes. <clears throat> so the Jezebel spirit accuses nonstop. Um, next, the Jezebel spirit mocks you, okay? It's a mocking spirit. Uh, we see in the Bible where Jezebel was, in a sense, laughing at Elijah and testing Elijah and the God of Elijah. And so the Jezebel spirit's a mocking spirit, very sarcastic, you know? Uh, I mean, it's one thing to be humorous. It's another thing to be mocking God. It's another thing to be mocking who you are. So the Jezebel spirit is a mocking spirit and makes fun of you, you know, tries to tear you down. Next, <clears throat> this is good. Uh, the Jezebel spirit uh, takes advantage of weak leadership. I think I'm on number 10 or 11. The Jezebel spirit takes advantage of weak leadership. Okay. Um, and I've seen this. I'm at number 11. And I've seen this uh, where even in my own life where I could not make a decision or it was hard for me to draw boundaries. Okay. Hear me now. All right. Every leader, minister, prophet, apostle, you need to learn to draw the line and to confront. If you don't confront and draw the lines, then the Jezebel spirit will slowly gain more influence and take more and more people away from you. So the Jezebel spirit thrives in weak leadership. Whenever there's a weak Ahab, Jezebel thrives. When there's weak leadership, or even if I go to the next level and say, whenever there's absentee fathers, there can be Jezebels. Or whenever there's absentee, strong male role models, there can be Jezebels. And again, like I said earlier, I've seen some of the most wicked Jezebel spirits manifest from men, even more than women. But uh, whenever there's a weak leadership, the Jezebel spirit will overtake and flood it. That's what we see with Joe Biden. Uh, oh, Ahab, weak leadership. Whenever there's weak leadership, a Jezebel spirit will mock you, torment you, bully you, be aggressive, make threats about you, assassinate your character, will try to seduce you, tempt you with money, with position, with fame, with, 
with sensuality will try to cause you to forfeit your prophetic call and destiny. That's the Jezebel spirit. I believe on, I'm on number 11. The Jezebel spirit is a spirit of arrogance, okay? It's very arrogant, very haughty. And I don't mean like use a haughty. I mean like haughty, H-A-U-G-H-T-Y. It's actually an abomination in the Bible. So the Jezebel spirit is haughty. It's, it's even more than arrogant. It's just filled with themselves, just foolish, okay? And so the Jezebel spirit is haughty, is arrogant, thinks it is untouchable, is constantly on a pedestal, on a high horse, uh, thinks higher of itself than others, looks down on people. So the Jezebel spirit is very arrogant, very haughty, thinks it's untouchable, thinks that God cannot deal with it. <laughs> so, again, the Bible says, before, before fall or destruction is pride. Pride goes before a destruction. So whenever there's arrogance, that can uh, be a strong manifestation of a Jezebel spirit. And that's why we as people of God, we need to have ears to hear. We need to be humble. We need to be teachable. Praise God. What number am I? Am I 14? 12. No, I think I'm higher. The next number. Thank you very much. The next number on the Jezebel spirit, the next characteristic is... Division, okay, division, it takes, uh, it, it divides the church. I mean, the Jezebel spirit is, is such a spirit of division and destruction. It, I mean, look at America today. Honestly, it's not a President Trump thing. It's not a Biden thing. It's a spiritual thing, okay? It's not about parties. It's about spiritual entities behind each party, behind the policies. So look at America today. I mean, America is in such division right now. Even the church is in such division. That's a Jezebel spirit. The Jezebel spirit divides and conquers and destroys. It's so destructive. I mean, whew, my gosh. You know, whenever you're dealing, whenever Jezebel spirit's around, it just destroys, divides. I'm telling you, so you need to Understand your enemy. Understand these characteristics. When you sense and feel these characteristics coming from somebody and they're not changing, they're not repenting, they're not letting go of these things, then you have to draw some strong lines and possibly even cut ties because that Jezebel spirit will try to divide your church, your ministry, your business. Number 14, the 14th characteristic of the Jezebel spirit is it takes people away from your life. And that's part of the division. That's part of a divisive spirit. Remember the Bible says to warn brothers when somebody moves in a spirit of division. If somebody is divisive, then you need to warn others about this divisive person in the church. And so as the spirit of Jezebel is divisive, it goes even further, and it begins to take people away from you. I've had that happen in my life. It's so painful. You know, my heart breaks for them. And the Jezebel spirit takes people away from you. What does it do? It literally tries to keep you alone and isolated and stranded so you have no resources. You have no help. You cannot reach out to anybody. It cuts out any ties, branches. So you're fully isolated and you're stranded and you die. Very dramatic, isn't it? I'm sure you've experienced it before. Where the Jezebel spirit tried to turn people away from you and against you. These are people you loved. You're best friends with them. And all of a sudden one day, somebody comes influenced by a Jezebel spirit. Or as I like to call it, a Jezebel principality. Because it's a higher form of power. Principalities are high regional powers, spiritual powers, okay? Principalities over a, a region. And sometimes uh, a Jezebel is, uh, so, sometimes somebody's not moving in a Jezebel spirit, they're moving in a Jezebel principality. 
I hope you got that. And uh, so many people are actually being influenced by Jezebel principality rather than even a Jezebel spirit. Okay. Hallelujah. It takes people away from you, from your life. It tries to leave you stranded. Shura Baba. And I believe I'm at the last, the 15th characteristic of the Jezebel spirit. The 15th characteristic is that it blames you. It shifts the attention on you. It's a blame shifter. Okay. Uh, the Jezebel spirit is always head to head with the spirit of Elijah or the spirit of prophecy. Remember, Jezebel cuts out lineage while Elijah passes on lineage. Elijah passes on mantles. Jezebel cuts mantles. Jezebel destroys the family unit. Elijah builds up the family unit. Elijah was a father that passed on to Elisha. And of course, Elisha anointed Jehu. And Jehu was the king that overthrew Jezebel. Amen. Are you ready to see Jezebel thrown down? So, but then even though Jehu was the person who threw down Jezebel, come on somebody. It was Elijah's anointing on Jehu that caused Jehu to throw down Jezebel. Because Elijah had the mandate, and that mandate and that anointing was passed down to Jehu, Jehu actually moved in the Elijah anointing, in the spirit of Elijah. So right now, even today, we're going head to head with the Jezebel spirit. You know, so much accusation, slander against prophets, against the church, against the evangelical movement, against people who love Trump, love America, people who have prophesied certain things. And so there's a real contention. And again, remember, correction is different from accusation. I'm going to repeat that. Correction is different from accusation. Okay. You can correct in love. And you can correct to build up and to edify, okay? But then that doesn't mean that you're accusing, which means a spirit of accusation is against you and tries to destroy you as a person rather than build up and edify. So I believe... Again, if there needs to be correction, there needs to be correction. But that doesn't mean there's an accusation there. Okay. We, we as people, we need to own up for our wrongs and our mistakes. But that doesn't mean there's an accusation against who we are and against our character and our reputation. I'm sure many of you, you've experienced the Jezebel spirit. Or you've experienced somebody being influenced by a Jezebel. It's wicked, it's evil, it's heinous. But mark these words. This season, you will see Jezebel thrown down. We will see Jezebel thrown down from her high, lofty place. Remember, the Bible says that Jezebel was in a tower. And when Jehu came, he looked up to Jezebel and said, uh, and spoke to Jezebel. So Jezebel likes to occupy the high places, places of influence, places of government. Remember, Jezebel doesn't, doesn't need to hang around places or people that's just, you know, has nothing going on. No, Jezebel wants to take control and take over where the action is, okay, where there's power. She overtook Ahab and took complete power over Israel, you know, and so, uh, where's the remote here? And so Jezebel Likes to be in the middle of the action, stop your flow, deplete your funds. That's Jezebel. And I'm sure many of you, you've experienced a Jezebel spirit. Maybe you're dealing with a Jezebel spirit. Maybe Jezebel is attacking you right now, is attacking the prophets right now. Maybe you're feeling Jezebel trying to attack, accuse, destroy, divide, betray, mock, slander. Bully, threat, make threats against you. You know, manipulate. Oh, if you don't do this, you're going to die. 
Oh, if you don't obey, if you don't worship me, then you're gonna you're gonna die, you're gonna perish. That's manipulation. That's witchcraft. I break that off. Amen. But mark his words, we will see the Elijah spirit rise. And we will see the spirit of Elijah rule and reign. For the Bible says in Malachi chapter 4, the Bible says that in these end times, the spirit of Elijah will come. And we will see the hearts of the fathers turn back to the sons. And the hearts of the sons turn back to the fathers. Otherwise, he will come and curse the land. I declare right now the curse is being lifted. I declare right now that there's restoration, reconciliation, the passing on of mantles, impartation, transference of mantles, of anointings. The Elijah spirit will rule and reign. And even as Elijah said, the God that I serve will release fire from heaven upon every witch, every devil, every Jezebel. Are you ready for the fire of God to fall? And for Jezebel to be thrown down. These are 15 characteristics. Now, I'm sure you can look at your life and say, Pastor Ben, I've been struggling. You know, somebody, and again, this doesn't mean we're, we're, we're putting this on somebody. But people can actually be manifesting these things. And they don't know it. As I'm about to close right now, here are three doors where people open themselves up to the Jezebel spirit, okay? There's three doors, and there's much more, but I'm going to give you three doors, okay? When you have these three doors opened, then the Jezebel spirit can move through you, okay? Number one is unforgiveness. When you have, when you have unforgiveness in your heart, then the Jezebel spirit can move through you. Remember, these open doors... Allow evil demonic entities and spirits of darkness, demons of hell, to begin to move and influence through you. You're called to be a child of God. You're not, to, you're not meant to be a child of the devil. You know. But when you have unforgiveness, say unforgiveness. When you have unforgiveness in your heart, that unforgiveness can become an open door that causes you, that causes you to be susceptible to being influenced and used by the Jezebel spirit. Number two, uh, wounds. Okay, someone say soul wounds, all right? When you have wounds in your heart or wounds in your soul, okay, like rejection, abandonment, bitterness, when you have soul wounds, that becomes an open door for deception and for Jezebel to take authority over you. Remember, Ahab... Probably just wanted to be loved. Ahab probably just really liked Jezebel. And where Jezebel was looking real fly and looking real good. So Ahab just wanted to be coerced. Just wanted to be played with. But when you, when you are whole and when your soul wounds are fully dealt with at the cross of Calvary. Come on somebody. Then the Jezebel spirit cannot move through you. The spirit of Jezebel. Cannot go through you. It has no room. So we need to be a whole people of God. More than ever before. Amen. Oneness of vision. One eye. And number three. The third open door. For Jezebel to operate and influence your life. Is, um, is pride. Okay. Whenever you're proud. Then that opens up the door to more pride and more haughtiness, okay? So people who are proud are always right in their eyes, and that's destructive. That's very dangerous. And when you have pride in your heart, many times pride is a manifestation of being defensive. You're always needing to defend yourself. You're always needing to fight, okay? You always need to prove yourself. That's pride, okay? And whenever you're in pride, then you think you are the master prophet and you think you are the only prophet and you kick everybody out. That's a Jezebel spirit. Okay. Don't ever think too highly of yourself. Keep yourself low. Keep yourself humble. Don't ever exalt your revelation above the word of God. Don't ever think that your revelation is the greatest revelation. It's not. I'm sorry. Go back to Bible school. 
When you close the door to unforgiveness, to soul wounds, to daddy issues, mommy issues, rejection, abandonment, when you close the door to pride, then the Jezebel spirit will be far away from you. It can't touch you. It can't come near you, honestly. Um, the Jezebel spirit is always lurking for open doors to influence, to manipulate, to connive, to take over. I believe we're about to see Jezebel thrown down. Amen. Even tomorrow, I'm flying over to North Carolina, and I'm going to be on a private bus from North Carolina to D.C., and I'm going to be at the Million MAGA March on Wednesday. I believe we're going to see justice in this month. We're going to see Jezebel thrown down. People of God, this is Pastor Ben here. I want to pray for you right now. Okay, I want to pray for you as we bring this to a close. But I want you to comment below. All right, to comment below if you've been struggling or dealing with the Jezebel spirit. Okay, and maybe there is there maybe not now, but maybe there was a time when. Okay, but God, I pray that you will expose Jezebel. And a Jezebel will be thrown down from a high lofty place. And that she would not even be, it would not even be recognized after it's trampled under the feet of horses. And Lord, I thank you that the prophets will prosper. Every prophecy will come to pass. And the word of the Lord will prevail. God, I thank you that the spirit of Elijah is rising up. And even in these days, we will see a Mount Carmel showdown. We will see a Jezreel prophetic fulfillment showdown. And we will see Jezebel get thrown down. I thank for everybody here today. You are free. You're powerful. You're free from this manipulative, deceptive spirit. They're not your friends. Okay? Be wise. Be on guard. Be in prayer. Be attentive. The Bible says be sober. And alert. The Bible also says, "Be, uh, be watch and pray." Lord, I pray for these people. May you have authority to be like Elijah and Jehu to draw the line in the sand to overthrow Jezebel. Shabata, mandabata, robo soto. In the name of Jesus, we will see justice in this month. Amen. God bless you, everybody. This is Pastor Ben. Thanks for watching. Do give us some hearts, likes, share, 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 share. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Okay.